Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We had a lot of questions asked about just messages, so um, we were gonna address those just in a video instead of replying to each one. So um, some of these were not kid-friendly questions, and I'm gonna skip those because I know that there's Allison has friends that watch and Kennedy does, and we're not gonna go into anything like that. But um, some of these were like asked by multiple people like different ways, but we'll cover all that. Why are you putting your life out there? So I didn't initially put my life out there. I felt like my life was put out there by other people and I just wanted to clear some things up. There's that. Is your dog a beagle or a basset hound? He is a basset hound and he is the sweetest, most adorable, um, most obedient dog in the world when he is asleep. But when he is awake, He's a turd. He is a turd. We love him. He's a turd. <laughs> he he better be glad we love him. And he's cute or he'd be out of here. He chews everything he can get up. He eats cat turds. He's terrible. We had to buy like a gate, a wooden gate at like TJ Maxx, I think. It was mm -hmm. like a $60 gate just to put around the litter box because he will eat cat turds. Yeah. So he is a turd. We say he's Kennedy's emotional support dog though. So. He's right at your feet no matter where you are. Yes, yes. What software, Very needy. What software do you use for editing and what music do you use? I use iMovie to edit and I use Epidemic Sound, I believe it is, mm -hmm. for the music. And it's easy to do. It's overwhelming at first, but once you figure it out, it's so easy and it's, it is a lot of fun actually watched your car cleaning video what kind of car do you have i have a 2018 18. ford explorer i have a 2019 and I, and I love it love it yeah she has the same car hers is a little more bougie than mine but mine's better mine's got a bigger motor mine's a v6 hers is a little four cylinder mm -hmm. i noticed tenant i noticed tenant that <laughs> i noticed tenant why can't I say that? <laughs> it's not wrote out. I noticed Tennessee things in your house and you wearing a Tennessee shirt. Do you live in Tennessee or are you just a fan? Okay, let's clear this up. <laughs> I have never wore a Tennessee shirt. That was Me. her. Um, and anything Tennessee in this house Me. is hers because I'm not a Tennessee fan. And, but we do live in East Tennessee. I'm a diehard Tennessee fan. All sports, all things Tennessee. Love it. We may not be good, but still a fan. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so I had a lot of questions about this. Um, where do I sleep? We have a spare bedroom, and I guess it is could be considered my bedroom, but there's a bed in there. Um, but it's also like a storage room. We have shelves with food, all this stuff. It's just you know, like an extra storage area, but there is a bed in there. I sleep in there sometimes. A lot of times I'll sleep with Allison because she'll have a hard time falling asleep. So I'll scratch her back till she falls asleep and on the couch, just wherever I crash. But this is Heather's room. The master bedroom is Heather's room where she sleeps. What inspired you to start making videos? <sighs> I like watching other people clean their house or um, like a day in their life just to see how they do things and it kind of gives you ideas like supper ideas or cleaning tips stuff like that and I do a lot of that so why not film it and so there's that do you rent or own your home we own it we own our home we bought this house together why do people think you're gay <laughs> because, because people want to run their mouth because we live together and we're together a lot um, we're best friends. I think 20 years ago, if two women were roommates, people wouldn't have thought anything about it. But I think it's so common now, as far as like girls being together, that people just assume that. And I don't care what people think. I really don't care. I know, and she knows, my kids know, my family knows. I mean, if anybody thought we were gay, it would be Alden. I mean, he's like the number one person that should be like, oh, you're gay, but he knows, he knows. We were actually kind of friends through a mutual friend. 
And so we knew each other, but then when Kennedy started playing ball, was that been three years ago, four years ago? Then she was the head coach at East High, and I was the, the treasurer. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. I was the treasurer. So we were, we had to communicate a lot. So then we just became, we were friends. We were like best friends. And then we started, um, be, like she'd bicker about her husband, I'd bicker about my husband, things, whatever. And then we just, we're just best friends. I love, she's like a sister to me. I love her. My parents consider her their daughter. I mean, they love her. And, and so she's just part of the family. We had a lot of comments and not questions. Um, comments saying that, um, like they liked that I was positive about things, um, that we even had a comment saying that, um, have I ever thought about ministering or counseling? And, um, my response to that is I have thought about going to counseling, but that's about it. But, um, I just want people to know that life's tough and, you know, be kind, of course, but, um, I want people to know that they're not alone. If, if they're struggling with something or um, bullying or, and bullying don't go away. I mean, as an adult, you can be bullied at work. It's just, you have to have thick skin to an extent, but they can cross that line. That's just my opinion. Um, but I just want people to know that we've been through it. I mean, even like, you know, struggling financially or um, yeah, going through a divorce or um, separation, or anything like that, that we've been through it. We have been through a lot. And I know what it's like to not know where your next house payment's coming from or things like that. And I just want people to know that you'll get there. You know, it's to stay hopeful and to stay positive. And, and even in front of your kids, because I think like my kids feed off me if I wake up and I'm happy and, and I do, struggle. There's a lot of times that I I wake up and I feel the weight of the world on my shoulders and I'm not feeling it and I just have to tuck all that behind and wake my kids up for school and put a smile on my face and be positive because that's they feed off me and I feel like they have to have that. They need that. I don't want my kids to go to school and worry about why was mom upset this morning or why was mom crying. I don't want my kids to have to deal with any more adult issues than they have to. Um, the number one question we got, and it was like a lot, um, why did Kennedy quit softball and why did coach resign? So as far as Kennedy's part, I will answer that. And I always run things by Kennedy or Alden or whoever's in my videos, like being seen on video or talking about them on video. I'll always let them watch before. And sometimes they'll be like, no, take that out and I'll take it out or yeah, that's fine. And so I always run things by them. But Kennedy um, went, there was a lot that happened and Kennedy just felt like it wasn't for her. That environment wasn't for her. Um, I feel like she's kind of lost the love for softball and um, she's even questioned playing in college. And, and I told her that's her decision. And if she doesn't want to play, then I fully support that. But I feel like she is, she has too much talent to not play somewhere. And I hope this is just a season for her and just a phase and maybe things will get better. And um, we even encourage her to play high school, you know, go play your senior year and, and, you know, just try. If you don't like it, you can quit, but just try. And um, as of right now, she doesn't want to play. And she has played, picked up and subbed with like a few travel teams and done some travel tournaments. But she's, uh, and she will still practice and she, she helps Allison and but she's just not feeling it right now. And that stinks because she's, I, I think she's extremely good ball player and it's a lot of talent to waste. And why did coach resign? I'll let her answer that. I resigned because I felt like it was best for the team at the time. Um, things change, people change, things happen. Um, at the time, Kennedy was living with me. Um, things were said and I just thought maybe it would make it best for her and for the team for me just to step down and resign. Um, I encouraged her to keep playing. She has way too much talent not to play. But as far as for me, it was just just in my best interest and the best interest of the team for me to step down and resign. Still support East, still have some East attire, 
still go watch ball games. But the best thing for me at the time was to resign. And I hate that because I know she loved doing it. Um, it was a lot of time. It was a lot of time. And it was a lot, there was a lot more to it, like behind the scenes that people, people didn't just see. don't understand from. And she stayed stressed out about it all the time. It was always something. It was, it was a lot. And it's, it's not just during softball season. It's in the summer and it's ordering uniforms and it's getting fundraisers and field maintenance and it was just a lot and I didn't realize how much time it was until I resigned and now I have time to do other things and, and then enjoy. you and then you go home from a game or practice mm -hmm. or something and you have like you wake up to like 10 text messages from different people mm -hmm. because their kid didn't play here or there or there was you know why did you do this right why did you not do that and I don't have to worry about that anymore I can go watch mm -hmm. and enjoy and or being talked to like you're a piece of crap I mean some of those messages and things that are recorded um, she was called like a 17 minute conversation where she was called every name in the book yeah and it's just um, a lot less stressful and I can enjoy life now she didn't deserve any of that any of the names or she did what she thought was best she was playing to win and um, I, yeah so I wish nothing for the best for the softball team the softball program those girls the coaches I want to see them succeed I want to see them girls those girls go on and play at the next level but for me, the best thing is just to be a spectator. Yeah, we, um, and Kennedy still loves to watch softball and she has a lot of friends on that team that were very good to her and she, you know, she wants the best for them too. I mean, I, we, after she resigned and Kennedy quit, we went and watched a few games and there were people saying that we were there to hate on them and that was by no means what that was about. Of course we want East to win. I mean, that's just, that was, they're part of our family. They're part of our history. And that's where my kids go to school. So we're, we would never hate on anybody, especially the kids. And um, we just want what's best for everybody. Even the day I resigned, I said, I will always come and support. And I will always come and support the softball program and any other program at East High School. Just like, you know, the previous coach did her. The previous coach, um, supported her and did anything she could for her. And, and that's how you should treat people. That's what you should do. Um, what do you do? We're gonna end with this one because um, we're gonna talk a little bit, but um, what do you do all day when you're not filming in your spare time? So spare what I- time. <laughs> Spare time. Well, I mean, if I'm not filming, I'm still cleaning. I'm still washing clothes and cooking and food, all the things. Um, I'm so busy during the day. By the time I turn around, it's time to go to a game or practice or we're running from volleyball practice to softball practice and trying to squeeze supper in between. And um, like tomorrow we've got um, a four o'clock game, a five o'clock game, a six o'clock game. And we picked Allie up from school. We had to, uh, we had like 10 minutes to spare to feed her and get her to another county to play volleyball. And, but then there's softball practice through in on top of that. And it's just, it's very hectic. Um, Kennedy's working and drives herself. And I, I've always had a hard time when my kids started driving because it's just a mom thing, but it does help because I'm not having to run her places. I mean, she is, it's a big help to me because I couldn't run Kennedy to work and back and forth and then do all this too. So they're spaced out enough in age to where Kennedy can, Kennedy's basically an adult and, um, Allison's, you know, the main focus as far as running to sports and things like that. But what do I do if I have nothing else to do but to just sit on the couch? What am I doing? Um, you want to answer that? We're watching Dateline. We watch Dateline 48 hours. We found a new. Um, it's what else do we watch? Snapped. What else? Reasonable doubt. Yeah, like all the murder mystery things. We're just real into that. I would love to do that. Like even like clean up crime scenes or take crime scene photos and stuff like that. I think that would be the coolest thing in the world. Um, I would even like, I would even like to embalm people. Like I'd love to be an embalmer. Is that what they're called? I'll just stay a teacher. Yeah, yes. I, would, I would like to do stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we watched that. We found a new show. Um, murder flip murder house, murder flip, house flip where um like people that buy a home and then find out like there was 
horrible murders. Yeah, it's like really, really bad. Something bad had happened, and like even when they pulled the carpet up, like there's blood stains on the floor and stuff like that. And they remodel the house to um, get all that stuff up. So, and what was that girl's name? Jody Aries. Aries. Jody Aries, like the her her things on there where they sold his house, and then they flipped it, like they gutted it, and but there was like blood stains and stuff like that under the tile and, and Scratch even scratches in the sink, in the sink mm -hmm. from where she cleaned the knife. And that's really cool. But we were talking like, would you live in a house like that? And I, I could probably do it during the day. And even at night, I've had a lot of people around me, but if I was alone and like somebody got killed in your bedroom and you had to sleep in, I would probably be very freaked out. It would bother me. I don't think I could do it. Do you think you could buy a house that, like, I'll a big murder? No way. And some people, yeah, she's, like, scared of the dark. Like, if I moved out, she'd be like, I gotta go with you. I'm, yeah, she's scared, scared of everything. But um, I don't think I could, I don't think I could do that. I think I could. Um, Even if you gutted it and put brand new stuff in there. It yeah. still happened there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be, um, that'd be hard. And, but we were just wondering if any, any of you all live in a house where something like that happened and maybe you knew it and bought it anyway or, or found out after know, you yeah. bought it and like yeah like if you got a story because that would be really cool really? i think but anyway so we're gonna do some food prep we are gonna do some um, ham and cheese and you mix cream cheese and ranch and you spread it out on these little what are those things called tortillas yeah those <laughs> things and you um, sprinkle cheese on it, put ham on it, and you roll them up, and then you slice them, and it makes little pinwheels. Kennedy and Heather love those. So I'm gonna, we're gonna prep that for lunches, and we've got some pineapples to prep, and a few things like that. So we're gonna bring you guys along for that. Hey guys, I thought I'd do a grocery haul for you before I put all of this away. So I'll start with fruit. We got four pineapples, they were four for five dollars. So we got that, we got peaches, and then we got blueberries. Then starting up here, we got Pringles, just for lunches. We got muffins and these little yogurt bites, they are so good. We got bread and buns, um, bread for lunches, of course, buns, four hamburgers, one not, eggs, sausage, and then we got these just for a quick breakfast to grab. I got milk and I got Gatorades for lunch. I got some sweet tea, orange juice, biscuits, bologna. I got these mushrooms. They are so good. If you've never tried them, they are great. You bake them for like 15 minutes and they're awesome. I got some, a tomato for hamburgers and then I got fried green tomatoes or tomatoes for fried green tomatoes. I got three of these pizzas, fries, two of these yogurts. They were just something different. I thought Allie might eat them. Ham for her lunch. These instant mashed potatoes. These were on sale for $1.80 a bag, so I got those, like the turtle Chex Mix, and then the Muddy Buddies. I got Lunchables for lunches. Got breakfast, Cinnamon Toast Crunch breakfast bars, honey buns. Allison loves these cookies, so we got these soft cookies. Uncrustables for lunches. Got a Red Bull. She has the softball tournament tomorrow, so I got her two waters because I forgot to grab a case of water. So I just ran in and got her two single ones. We got a plain bag of chips for Allison's ham sandwiches. We have beans and cornbread for one night. That is not my thing, but that was requested, so I'll go with it. Coffee, green beans back there, tune in for the cats. Um, barbecue sauce, because we have all those ribs and we have a bunch of pork chops in the freezer. We also have ground beef for our hamburgers in the freezer. Macaroni and cheese, rolls, quick lunches, muffins, those are always a hit. Um, I got this for the pork chops, the shake and bake ranch and herb. Then I got these. This is my kids. Everybody in this house loves these. Heather loves them too. Take them for lunch. So you just get the wraps. You mix. I'm doubling this recipe. So you mix ranch seasoning with one cream cheese. You spread it on this. You put ham, shaved ham on it and cheese you roll them up and slice them i will show you when i do them but they are so good especially as a ball field they're just light and they're good and um, as far as not things that aren't food i got paper towels i got this to sprinkle on allison's carpet upstairs or maybe a rug downstairs of course butt wipes um little razor blade things for my stove top and i got that i'm gonna clean out my stove so i needed scrapers so i bought those for that i found allison this little 
faux plant. It says treat people with kindness and it was at Big Lots and it was on clearance for $3. So I thought the, that would be super cute in her room. Also got these little things. I think it's a pack of three and they were like two something just to put things that's on her desk in that organized. Laundry detergent. We got a cutting board because our wooden one split in the middle and broke. I got flash a ball <laughs> that he will drive me crazy with, I'm sure. We got him all these dog treats, dog food, cat food. We also got cat litter and Tylenol, which is not in this. But this was from um, Priceless, which is a little grocery store in our town. We got this from Priceless. A few things from Ingles and then Big Lots. So all this together was like $2.94. So yeah, hope it lasts a while. I'm looking for a brand new start. I know I got some trouble getting over you. I think that I have played my part. I need to get away somewhere far from you. I'm about Plane ticket, run away by myself for a minute. I don't have, I don't have any limits. Ooh, ooh. I'm looking for a place where I can't feel alive, where I can let you go and just be for a while. I got you on my mind, I'm gonna die. No, I'm about ooh, ooh. I hope I miss somebody who's better than you. They like to follow the things that I say. You could do better than wasting time on me And I admit it felt so tough But baby, I guess this is how it's meant to be I'm a buy, I'm a buy, plane ticket Run away